fans, welcome back to Fuzzy TV, the home of transfer news and highlights. I'm going to bring you some bunch of transfer highlights. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, comment below. You know what, just be my fan. Enjoy the videos. So I'm going to bring you a bunch of highlights like Real Madrid versus Everton, AC Milan versus Chelsea, Shakhtar versus Dinamo. Oh, what other games? Arsenal versus Galatasaray. Just a bunch of games. Just enjoy it and watch the video. See you later. Right, alright. Welcome back to Fuzzy TV. Let's we'll start with this fun game where Real Madrid played Everton. You know, Ronaldo did amazing in this game and I miss watching Ronaldo play for Real Madrid the way he did in this game. That was a beautiful cut around the keeper and then a nice shot right under the keeper, you know. I, I just miss this guy. And uh, if there's any speculations of Ronaldo, Going to Manchester United, if any of that rumor, I could promise you that that won't happen. Right here, Ronaldo not being selfish, passing it in to Ozil, and Ozil scoring a really nice, easy goal, tapping. If Real Madrid keeps doing the way they are, I'm pretty sure they're going to fight for La Liga versus Barcelona. But, as I've seen in the preseason for Barcelona, Barcelona has done a lot. And just the last game versus Santos, they just destroyed them, and that was just amazing. But I hope Real Madrid actually fights for that La Liga spot this year with Ancelotti. You know, Ancelotti is my man. I used to be a huge fan of AC Milan. And Ancelotti was the guy for AC Milan. He won a lot of titles and he brought Championship League to them. Right here, Jalovic scores a beautiful goal for Everton. I love this guy, but too bad he's getting old. You know, if this guy was young and he was doing this good, he would actually become a great striker. But Everton so far is looking for more and more striking position. Morales is actually trying to get the number one spot at the front. But it's whatever. We'll see what happens. This was my most favorite game of the week. LA Galaxy versus Juventus. I have never seen Juventus so reckless and just dead. Right here, my favorite goal. How can you think that fast? This is a talent that needs to be actually noticed. I, I don't even think a lot of players think that's fast, except Messi. That was a beautiful chip over the freaking keeper. And now, is that Buffon? I'm just wondering, is that Buffon? Let's see if that's Buffon. Oh, shit. That's probably Buffon. Okay, that's freaking sad because uh, huh, scoring a goal like that on the world's number one keeper is just nuts. Oh, yeah. Just going to ask you guys, what do you guys think? Who's the number one keeper right now? in the Europe. I actually think Neuer, you know Buffon is still my hero but Neuer is the best keeper in the world right now and whoever says that he isn't, um, you suck. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so Juventus comes back with a good attack, you know, uh, Quagliar controls the ball here, he has a nice shot at the keeper, keeper blocks it and then Matri, the man that's actually on the transfer list to Everton, Fulham and Liverpool. He's been doing really good, but Juventus does not actually hide the truth, and they are putting him on sale, so the player will leave before the season ends. This was just unacceptable by Juventus, losing the ball, and then Donovan just scoring an easy goal. You know, in this game, I've noticed that Juventus was doing really good, but the defense just fucked up a lot, and they lost the ball to... You know, LA Galaxy, and they scored a goal. Now, I bet you it's that stupid baseball field that got him confused. Because seriously, LA Galaxy beating Juventus? That's just nuts. Right here, Pirlo messes up. And this beautiful chip by Rodney, Robbie King. Just, ah, I love this man. Too bad he left Tottenham. I used to love watching him when he was young. But he's, he's actually given a lot of good prospects to... U.S. soccer, especially all these big stars coming back to U.S., you know, playing for these slow teams and uh, making them better is actually a good idea. As we could uh, actually heard the news that Drogba has revealed that he would love to end his career in USA, playing for LA Galaxy or the New York Red Bulls. That would be pretty cool to see Drogba back. Here, Benega scores this beautiful goal. I've never seen these goals except in FIFA. You know, this is just an amazing turn, an amazing shot, and the keeper almost had it. Right here is another beautiful goal. God, I was just surprised by Valencia in this game. Inter is just being ruined, dominated, killed, destroyed, anything you could say. But this new kid on Valencia, Jonathan, 
He's actually a really great talent, real fast player, great dribbler, and he has a lot in him. As you can see in this game, beautiful shot, got lucky, got deflected, went in, beautiful goal. Right here is my, actually my most favorite goals right here, because the guy tricks the keeper, whoop, and then just touches it in, easy, and then stupid enter, like always, just dirty playing. I hate enter because of that, because they're dirty players. And you know what, since Matarazzi retired, Inter still hasn't finished being dirty, but that's Inter to you. Anyways, Valencia just schooled the team, just pretty much break them to pieces. This is Valencia that I love to watch. And I want to see Valencia take more than just third, fourth spot. I want him to actually fight for that number one spot. Beautiful pass and beautiful shot. And then guess who? Jonathan one more time. This guy will be amazing soon if Valencia keeps them good. You know what? Valencia has been struggling with the money and it sucks. But if they ever kept all those players, they would probably be the number one team in La Liga. As you see all those players left to bigger teams in La Liga. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the news. Watch my next video. See you later.